Hi, my name is John Stevens with Browns Volkswagen and this is the 2019 Ford Explorer XLT. Under the hood, it's equipped with a powerful 3.5 liter six cylinder engine providing 365 horsepower and 250 pounds of torque. Up here, you'll see some sound shielding and that's just to keep the cabin nice and quiet. You'll notice that the engine bay is pretty open, making it easy to access your fluids or change out headlights if you need to. Coming around the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the 18 inch alloy wheels, all season tires, and the side view mirrors. On the side view mirrors, you'll see turn signal indicators, which is a nice safety feature to let people know even when they're on the side of your car that you're about to be turning into the lane that they're in. Down here you'll see a nice chrome strip and that black material you see is cladding. That's if you're driving on gravel roads or any rough surfaces. It's nice, uh, the rocks will just bounce off of that instead of scratching paint. This vehicle comes with a power lift gate and remote start. So to start it, all you gotta do is make sure the car is locked, press the start button twice and it starts the engine right up. If you decide you don't want to have your engine started, say uh, you decided you didn't want to come out and drive that day, after turning it on, all you got to do is press it again, turns it off. To open the power lift gate, you press this button twice and hold it, and you'll see the lift gate comes right up. There's a nice little plastic protective piece right here so you don't scratch up paint. The third row is here when you need it, folded down when you don't. You've got cup holders back here and a 12 volt outlet in case you need to hook up any chargers for those passengers. Under the car, you'll find the spare tire and this is a nice little storage panel in here. And the spare tire is actually under there along with all the tools you need. The back seats have a nice level of recline to them and they can be leaned up if you'd like. I prefer to have them uh, reclined if I'm going to be in the back seat. It has its own climate zone back here where you can adjust for where you want the air, the temperature, and the fan speed and a 12 volt outlet right there in case you need to hook up any chargers. The air vents are overhead similar to a van which actually gives you better airflow in the back seat so it's great and you have your reading light up here and another one for the third row back there as well as another couple air vents there. Coming into the front seat you'll see that it has some different drive modes you can switch to. It has mud mode, sand mode, snow, gravel, and grass mode, and it has your normal mode. It also has hill descent control, which is good if you're going to be towing anything or if you're on a very steep incline, which can be turned on and off. This vehicle is also equipped with blind spot monitoring, the little car icon on the rear view mirrors. On the side view mirrors, I mean, they'll light up if something drives into your blind spot, which is a great safety feature. This car comes with a push button ignition. It also comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Let's turn the fan speed down so you can hear me. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are great. All you need to do is plug in your phone and it mirrors the display from your phone onto the screen, allowing you to use any map app you'd like, Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze, you name it, you can also put on your music apps like Spotify and Pandora, your podcast apps, all of that kind of stuff. It also has a dual zone climate control, meaning that you can change these temperatures independently of each other over here. Uh, and on top of that, it comes with a backup camera. This backup camera has moving guidelines. The white lines will tell you the trajectory your car is moving in. The green, yellow, and red lines tell you how far you are away from something, and they also tell you where you'll be within your parking space. And you'll see the little car icon over here. It tells you how close you're getting to something with moving guidelines, uh, which help you park as much as you can. And you can turn that rear parkade on or off depending on your preferences. Um, if you like what you see or if you have any questions for me, give me a call. My name is John Stevens. I can be reached at 925-815-1228. Thank you.